hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is me creating video on the day i'm supposed to be posting guys so because of the last video i made i talked about the best transportation in kotono now and i said that the best is bike on that video so if you haven't watched it go and watch it now i will tell you guys the problems you 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 might encounter with a bike man and i think literally everybody i don't know about citizens but foreigners like they are not used to that type of um treatment we experience so <laughs> back again i'm going to make this video short again because i just have today this is um 8 something pm i'm supposed to be posting by 12 so i'm going to make this short for me to edit for my first three years in kotono i didn't have that issue because i'm always like someone that like avoiding problems for instance if the bike man said 150 before taking me and on my destination he said no it's 200 so because i know he wants to start arguing with me and you know it might end up in a wrong way i was just because it's just 50 francs difference i would just give the bike man the 200 that he asked for to avoid problem not to just have been doing it since but after i got comfortable in the country i like know what is right and what is wrong and i don't want to be going easy on people so when bike men for instance again when bike men um are misbehaving again i try to like tell them that this is what you should be doing you know if you want to start again with them because you know that you have start speaking french <laughs> it might get dirty because they might be speaking their language and they will, people will gather and they will want to understand the man because he speaks their language and you that don't speak their language you speak french and the french you can never see speak it properly you want to be arguing that nobody will, they will just tell you to just give him and go like to avoid fight what? so so my first and last experience was when i was coming back from school i was having a bad day that day no, i think it was the some period of this and immediately after school i stopped the bike man and i told the man i'm going to my destination my normal my usual bus stop and every bike man knows that area so i told the man he said okay with this and it's always 200 i don't bother what is more than 200 but the school is not far from my house so okay oh and because the man didn't agree with the price at first so he wanted to he was expecting me to like call him back and pay him the 300 or i forgot the amount he asked for but i didn't call him back i started walking out and then he came back to me again and that was the mistake i made the one thing about them is that once they argue with you about price and you are doing short hair they want to pay and they tell you oh yeah enter you entering is you is you signing contract that you want to suffer in their hand before you leave because they will not want to stop you in your destination they want they want to stop you somewhere that you're not even supposed to be stopping so and that's the annoying part of everything they want to suffer you and stress you and so even on the back i'm always on my earpiece i was hearing him murmuring something I'm like what was doing this man i was thinking he was talking to me i was like i remember my ears i'm like this is something he would tell me he would just pause and stop talking so it was getting annoying i just told him to be driving he should talk to me and stop i was out see my friends now this is a big roundabout and my house is the opposite part he want to drop me before my my bus stop you see that so i think that move forward is not far just for you to turn and enter this place it's not even far he he stopped me half for like what's different between this place and this place why don't and one thing about me is that i don't like crossing many roads if not i would use leg and trek home second instead so he was saying that he won't go this and that was really annoying and the fact that everybody in that area knows me i don't want to like get into funny drama or something and at the end of the day i will look like the crazy one so that was how i gave him because he was okay i didn't have change i have i think i had change then but i didn't want to give it to him i, I gave him two thousand to give me change so he told me that he doesn't have change I'm like what do you want to do ask around for change he didn't want to ask 
so after the small argument of change matter i said okay let me go to the market there's supermarkets in in not far from my house like see my house as a supermarket so i said okay let me go and find let me go and get something in the market and i'll go change for you so i know that i had the power to just enter another bike and go back to school but it should be a problem because they already know my pack the man already know my bus stop so if if i'm to go and you stay there with me and he sees me one day he's going to beat my life out so, so i don't even know why i was acting like that that day that particular day in conclusion i regretted what i did that day and i know that people are different and some people just like wahala they like custom program for a living and i'm not that type of person and i shouldn't have like get into an argument with that man and i, I shouldn't have done anything i did that day i shouldn't have done anything at all. i just like give him the money and just cross the road and just move my own way so well, probably that's is the way he acts maybe he's, just, he's crazy for a living and me on the other hand i'm not crazy my advice is that if you anytime in your life you don't know about to experience something like that just give him even though it's annoying like it's very annoying like give him the money and move to save you embarrassment i didn't explain this part very well i was saying that if you if you are trying to price a bike man and he being rude about it then look for another bike tell him that you don't want again uh, even though he's going to force you you don't mean that you don't want and just walk out from him and find another one and if you find someone that is friendly and he's laughing with you and being friendly with you then just enter that one because that the ones you can trust that will never even cause you any problem they even want to take you to your destination or even more than what you requested they will want to ask you for your number so that in case you want to go out next time they'll come and pick you up they are friendly bike men and they have the worst bike men in Kotono. So, like I said, there are different types of human beings in Kotono. And know who you are and avoid who, who is not like you. That is just the point. After the first experience I had, I don't want to experience that again. So, I continued with my rule of not arguing with any stranger. Okay? And... On the norm, before I even experienced it, my friends are always experiencing something like that. And I was like, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Until that day I experienced it, I regretted everything. I regretted everything. So that is all. Okay? Thank you guys for tuning in. And I hope this video will be helpful for you. Avoid fights in Kotono. It's not good for your health. Okay? Love you all. Thank you for tuning in.